go. Into the finals. Playoffs. Yeah. Sweet. Are we going? What's up, guys? This is Chad Kroger coming in with Going Deep with Chad and JT Podcast. I'm here with my compadre, Jean Thomas. What up? Boom clap, Stokers. Oh, what up, Stokers? And we're here joined by uh, Jimmy Tatro and Christian Pierce. What up, dudes? What's happening? What's going on? A couple of legends of Stoke here. <laughs> legends of Stoke. You might know them from uh, Life According to Jimmy YouTube. Real Bros of Simi Valley, second season, just came out on Facebook Watch. Indeed. Oh, yeah. And it's uh, got two episodes out right now. Two episodes. Mm -hmm. They're hilarious. By the time this comes out, maybe more. Oh, yeah. we're right recording. It's probably the fourth one's coming out the Ooh. week of release. That's right. a big one. It is a big one. Big one. That's, uh, that's where uh, young Chad over here makes his appearance. Debut. Oh, dude. Yeah. I got my, my cameo. I eagerly await that. It's a pretty oh, solid, yeah. it's it's a pretty a, solid yeah. cameo. Oh, yeah. dude, thank you. You guys going to like he had it. Everyone, he had everyone rolling on set. He was saying some weird shit. <laughs> I can I can curse on this, right? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. Sick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a lot of fun. I don't know any other adjectives. Right. <laughs> that, yeah, that was a lot of fun. They just let me, uh, you guys just let me just roll with it for like 15 minutes, so. Yeah. We should get him just that footage. Of him just I know, talking. Just sequence. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, I was telling, I was telling, like, I pieced together just like a sequence of all, all the best shit you said, and I feel like that'd be a good thing to get, yeah, to you mm -hmm. in your hands. I'd enjoy it. Yeah. yeah, it was just like all the weird. He just started going, dude. I don't know where you, I don't know where you pull this shit from. It's just like you were saying, the weirdest shit. I think it was the role I was born to play. Yeah. <laughs> Is that it? That's the peak? Skate Dude, party I, Well, afterwards, I was, like, driving home. I'm like, yeah, I'm, it's downhill after that. <laughs> <laughs> if you really get to know him, he feels like an alien almost sometimes. Just this, like, sweet bro alien that came Me. to Earth. Yeah. <laughs> oh, a sweet bro alien. That's nice. Yeah. I do sprints a lot. Which is kind of what I've always wanted as a friend. Yeah. yeah. Oh, dude, thank yeah. you. Oh, man. This is so nice. Yeah. How'd you guys uh, get together? We met in college. Yeah, we hooked up one night. <laughs> and, uh, oh, dude. Yeah. And that was what drew you to each other in that respect? Yeah. Oh, man. Was it the corner? No, we were, in, uh, we were in the same fraternity, actually. At U of A, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What and, frat? Uh, we were in uh, Pi Kappa Phi. That's right. Oh, dude, I'm Pi Kappa Alpha. You're oh. Pike? Yeah, I'm Pike. You're the house next door. Dude, yeah, we flex. Were oh, nice. Flex. <laughs> nice. Well, That's how y'all met together? Uh, yeah. No, we were boys before that. Yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah. Where are you guys from? Orange County. Orange County. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah. Oh, so Cowboys. I don't know why yeah. I thought you guys were from a different part of the country. Nah, nah. San Clemente. Uh. Yeah. And you guys went to uh, Notre Dame? He went to Notre Dame. I went oh, to okay. Notre Dame, yeah. Mm -hmm. Dude, good athletic history there. Oh, yeah. I went. I did a little background on like the people who have passed through there, and it's like a huge Wikipedia page yeah. of stars and luminaries and whatnot. Yeah, we did you know it. Mike Stanton? I did When he not. was Mike Stanton, John Carlos Stanton. I mean, yeah. I, yeah, John Carlos, he was Mike in high school. Um, I didn't know him in high school. I've like met him since then. Um, but like my buddy Eric, who's like one of my best friends, was on the baseball team with him. So like, like knew we like knew of each other. But right. like, I think like, and then I met him a couple times after we graduated. But yeah, he's on another level right now. He's and like, smashing. no one's surprised. Like, I thought he was going to the NFL. And, right. And then I thought he might go to the NBA. And then baseball season came around, and I was like. <laughs> Everyone's like, no, he's a baseball guy. <laughs> I was like, oh, fuck. Yeah, sometimes those guys make the wrong call, too. I mean, he like, could have, dude, he could have been a pro punter. That guy could punt, like, 70 yards right. in high school. Mm -hmm. It was nuts. He was just, he could have done anything. You yeah. think if LeBron would have went to the NFL, he'd still be playing? Oh, man. Yeah. I think he absolutely think for would have been in the NFL. And, like, oh, have, well, like, a still, contract and Still shit? playing? Yeah. He's, what, like, 30, 34. 32? 30, I mean, 34? I think he's 34. But do you think he would have had, like, a career? Like, he would have been? Yes. Oh, yeah. Really? I mean, there's always like Tied the factor in. if he didn't like getting hit, right. but he's a pretty tough competitive he's guy. I'd assume yeah. he could handle it. I think if he was a tight end, he'd be unstoppable. Yeah. 6'9". Yeah. You'd have to be, 280. Right. Yeah. yeah. I mean, he like makes other tight ends look small. But does he have yeah. hands? Yeah. Yes. I feel like we he know does. He he's got, <laughs> yeah. he's got yeah. everything. Yeah. He's got to have hands. Yeah. That was a dumb question. Yeah, dude. <laughs> he should have gone for it. And now there's Kyler Murray. He's like a two-sport stud now. Who's that? The Heisman winner from Oklahoma. Oh, man. But he's not going to play football. I mean, he's 5'10", so he's a little short for a quarterback, but he's going to play baseball instead. He's got like a $4.5 million contract from the A's. Dude, if you can play baseball professionally, play baseball. Wait, the dude who yeah. just won the Heisman? Yeah. What the fuck? And he's going to go play baseball? Yeah. That's he might do both now. Who knows? 
I, I mean, that might be the move, though. He's 5'10", quarterback. Yeah. Can make $4 million playing baseball? Right. Yeah. How tall is Baker? Like 5'10", right? 5'10", but okay. like the likelihood is... Right. Russell Wilson. And the longevity of yeah. football. Right. Play baseball. Yeah, yeah cost of doing yeah, business is worse than football, for sure. Your, your business manager would tell you to play baseball. Yeah. Right. Your family. Yeah. Are you guys going to let your kids play football? You already, I asked you this before, and you said no. Yeah, no. No? Dude, I respect that. I mean, yeah, I don't know. Like, you could play flag. <laughs> what if they want to do MMA? <laughs> nah, no, dude. I, mean, like, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I'm not going to, like, it would be, I, I, I don't know. It's hard to say now if I could, like, right. put my foot down and be like, no, son, you're not doing this thing right. you really want to do. If it's something that he's, like, Dying to do, it's Fuck like it would dad, be hard. Doing to, it, yeah. it'd be hard to say no. If he's right. built like he's Mike Allstott or something, yeah. If yeah. he's like, this is like, I love this more than anything. You're gonna take this from me, Jesus. Right. Yeah, then it would be kind of tough. Your son is yeah. dramatic. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. I don't know. I don't know how he's gonna be. Yeah. Makes a compelling case. Yeah. What about you? Well, yeah. Ah, see, I didn't even start to second guess it until you said no. We started talking about this a while back, but yeah. I'd let my kid play football. Yeah. I got fucked up playing football, and I saw people got, got hurt way worse than me, too. And, like, probably still have problems, but still, like... Yeah, I mean, like, Christian is not normal. You know? Right. He played football all through high school. Right. I didn't, and you can tell there's a clear difference. People right. always say that, yeah. Yeah. What are the differences? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just loopy. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Do you ever think some? No, I don't want to say that. I don't know. <laughs> oh, I, was gonna, I was gonna say if some people like they're like it's my CTE, and then it's like, is it really though? Or were you oh. always this way? Yeah. <laughs> For sure, have yeah. CTE. Yeah, <laughs> it's gonna fall back. I've gotten so yeah. many concussions. When I turn sixty, I'm not gonna remember any. Like, I've had so many concussions. Cool. I talked to a doctor, and he said I'm, I've had three like serious ones. And he says I'm a, I never played sports either, just rough living. But he <laughs> says just <laughs> rough living. But he says I'm at the edge. Like basically, you can't have more than three. But okay. Th- if you're at I three, might be you're good okay. Then. Yeah. That's the cut. Three. That's and it. Yeah. You have to start worrying. Yeah, that's what he told me. I I, I feel a little Damn. irresponsible putting that out there, but this is what a genuine doctor told me. What do yeah. most people get when they're like, you need to stop playing football? Like, like how like, many concussions? Yeah. Dude, I don't know, but I remember Bill Romanowski's uh, biography mm, or autobiography. Crazy. On the back, he wrote like uh, championships, like three concussions. 27 and then in parentheses it said estimated <laughs> and then underneath that it said heart endless oh my god yeah. <laughs> dude i mean crazy. i see those hits yeah. when you see like a helmet to helmet hit i'm yeah. just like I, I it makes me feel like damn that might have been permanent right you know? like i just always think like that dude mm-hmm. gets rocked and he's on the ground and he's like can't even see straight and he's thinking like i might have just like chipped away at like a long term thing like there's no getting right. back that like yeah yeah that was concussion four you know yeah like, i'm on concussion four now that could have fucked it all up no it's a lot to think about when you're out there playing it's a fun yeah. way to watch football right <laughs> <laughs> it makes it a lot more you play lot cte more bingo yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit so were you guys like always um trying to work in like the artistic field of and like do like writing and directing and acting and stuff or did that come while you guys were at college go ahead um i mean i i don't know i i like i've always just enjoyed making stuff and then in high school i started making like stupid i mean i guess it started for me with like skate videos when i was like that was like the first video kind of stuff i would make i was like eight nine i was just i got a video camera and i would just make little skate videos a lot of them actually made it into American Vandal, which is pretty funny. Oh, yeah. Um, that was funny because the director was like, you got, you have any uh, videos of yourself as a kid, like skating or acting like an idiot? And I was like, oh, oh, oh dude, <laughs> <laughs> you, you <laughs> cast yeah. the right guy. Um, but yeah, I mean, I always just kind of did that. And then like a lot of like dumb, weird sketches in high school, just kind of inspired by Saturday Night Live and that kind of, that was like my... That was like the only thing I really watched. Mm-hmm. Um, and then it kind of just progressed, you know, once we got into college and stuff. Mm. Yeah. yeah. I was kind of the same way. I grew up making, I used to take my dad's video camera and make like jackass videos or try to make jackass videos. Yeah. And then show them to my class. And then like every now and then they would be like, get a good, good, good laugh. But every now and then someone would get hurt, we'd get in trouble. Mm-hmm. Mm. So that's how I got started. And then high school, yeah, sketches every now and then. Um, and then college, met this guy. It's funny, like, 
you think about the Jackass videos, right. it's like at the beginning of Jackass, it says, please don't try any of this. Yeah. You're like, mm -hmm. fuck yeah, we're right? doing this. And yeah. how many kids do you know that tried to replicate everything they saw in Jackass? Every and I wonder everyone. how many yeah. of them got like seriously hurt. Oh, a lot. Yeah. Because I didn't get seriously hurt, but like, you know, we took a few nut shots. And yeah. Like, <laughs> there was some, you know, head damage. At, I had a friend like, rupture his sack. Oh, yeah. shit. Yeah. He was trying to do this, some handle, something with his bike, and his bike had like a loose piece of metal, and it just Ooh. nipped his sack. Sixth grade. On the IR. Yeah, he was an IR. Ruptured sack. Yeah, he couldn't go to homecoming. This is why I'm afraid to have kids. I think about like all the dangerous stuff I did that I barely like escaped by the skin of my teeth, and I'm like, dude, I don't want some son of mine coming home and be like, dad, I blew my nuts out. <laughs> <laughs> like, my nuts will never be the same, and I have to like process that and guide him through it. And yeah. help him and yeah. like, ice his sack for him. Yeah, ice his oh, sack dude. for him while he's crying, tell him it's all right. Oh, yeah. Man. Oh, man. I'm but just, I guess you, you grow. You learn how to handle that stuff. Right. I'm just happy I'm not. I'm, I mean, I'm just happy we're past the age where we have to worry about getting hit in the nuts. Yeah, that's For not, real. You feel like you're past it? That's a real thing. Yeah. That seems, that seems uh, cocky that to me. Like, I feel yeah. like you could still be in that range. Yeah. No, that was a legitimate like right fear for a long <laughs> yeah. time. What's up, dude? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do that. Could I dirty still, tap you? <laughs> I'm still deep in it. Every yeah. time I see my brothers, just sack tap all day. Yeah. Really? Oh, man. yeah. How old are your like, brothers? My oldest brother's like 40. <laughs> he loves it. <laughs> he initiates. No I'm like, I'm like, dude, clan. you have two kids. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. A tap is cool. They used to, we used to be ruthless though. I used to, oh yeah, get hit and hit dudes hard. It was oh. like punches. To yeah. The, oh, to I never got balls. punched. It's kicks. like my least favorite part of like male camaraderie is like yeah. the, the nut injuring. Mm -hmm. I kind of yeah. enjoy it. I'm gonna be honest. You're a beast. <laughs> I don't know yeah. how you do it. Yeah, you like I got smile good nuts, through it. Dude. Yeah. yeah. Um, no, my uh, my brother one time I got like <laughs> we talked about this on the last pod. Uh, we were sack tapping. I was like in like second grade. <laughs> just tapping you know, some sack. sack tapping. <laughs> <laughs> just three bros, intergalactic crotch wars, and uh, <laughs> and I just like jackhammered him. <laughs> like I was in like second grade, and I just like full on like double fist, and and he was he was crying for like two hours. So like, oh my god! I think god. we took it a little far, but you hit him with the Thor. With oh, dude, yeah. with the Thor. Thor. Hammered, yeah. Thor. Hammered, dude. I, oh, I hit like a point that it was like this isn't fun anymore. I was like leaning. I was at like my friend Tommy's like eighth grade graduation party. And I was like leaning against the couch, like sitting on the couch with my legs up, like so vulnerable. And this dude, Hector, my friend, just like straight punched me in the dick. And like, I had nowhere to back up to. It was like I was pinned against the back right. of the couch. And it just like, I was straight up icing my balls at that, at that eighth grade function Ooh. for like the entire, the entirety of the party. And I was like, I don't like, this isn't fun. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm not down. No. No. He's no good. Yeah. Where, you, where'd you go again? Santa Clara. Santa University. Clara. Okay. Yeah. I thought you were going to say Chico for sure. <laughs> oh, dude, Chico. yeah. I remember growing up hearing about that. Yeah. 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 I, I wanted say Chico. I wanted to, but my parents won't let me. Dude, it's dangerous. <laughs> all the people I know who went to Chico, like, came back injured. Right. Like, they, they all have, like, <laughs> yeah. they, like, walk with limps now. <laughs> yeah, stuff. real shit. Yeah. They yeah, made like, it like a, like, a, like a half semester. Yeah, they had a good time, and then they came back in tatters. I was like, not a, not a good place to go. No no disrespect to the Chico. To the Cheekins. No yeah. disrespect to the Cheekins. Yeah. Not the Cheekins. Not the Cheeks. So when you guys, your guys' stuff blew up when you guys were in college, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So were you, how long did you stay in college after that happened? Well, he graduated. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I did not. I, uh... I left. I, I mean, I was like, I took leave. Once everything started, like, working out, I was like, I just couldn't apply myself to school anymore. Yeah, yeah. Um, and so, I, like, I took leave, like, sophomore year, and then, like, I came back for junior year. But, like, my head was never really in it. Like, once the first video blew up, like, my head was just never in school. Did your profile, like, change on campus? Like, was everyone like, oh, dude, you're the dude? And, like, yeah, that must have been wild. It was wild. I enjoyed it for like maybe 10 minutes and then, <laughs> <laughs> and then I was like, okay, this sucks. And it was funny, like junior year, I pretty much didn't go to school at all. Like I was just living there, but not attending school. Um, Cause like Christian lived there. Um, and like, that was where all the ideas were. Like it was like the college themed video so it was like mm -hmm. i might as well stay here right just so you have something to pull from yeah um yeah but the was weird working. thing was like you know all it takes 
you know, it's, it's a great situation. It sounds great. Like, you know, I didn't have to wake up at any specific time. It was just like, you know, all right with Christian when he's not in class. And then I can edit and do everything else like whenever I want. Right. Which sounds great. And then all it takes is like one kid on campus being like, yo, what are you even doing here? And then you're like, damn. What do you what mean? What am I doing here? Like he knew you weren't like. <laughs> <laughs> well, like I mean, like people would know. People like would. I mean, p- people thought when I when I made the first frat video, my fr- when I was a freshman, people thought I was like a senior. So like two uh, years later, they're like, "Dude, what are you still doing here?" Right. And I'm like, "Well, I mean, I'm supposed to be here." Right. Yeah. But. But the way people would initially uh, perceive you was that but you it's were like Sunday. some kind <laughs> of like on campus or something. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah, I mean, like, and I would still be on campus. Like, all my friends were, were at school. Like, I'd be on campus eating and shit, and people would, like, be like, Tatro, like, what are you fucking doing here, bro? I thought you dropped out. And I'd be like, well, I did. And they'd be like, well, <laughs> why, why are you here? Right. It was a lot of, like, I don't know, fr- a lot of frat bros just would, they just don't really what? know how to, pr- I mean, I'm sure you guys have, like, some of those fans that are, like, really aggressive, like, think you're going to respond to yeah 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 and all it, you're right it does just take one to like put you in a bad mood you're right like, Fuck, dude. yeah were you, i mean it's just the weirdest interactions you know what i mean yeah was it because they like were such like high status dudes ordinarily that they didn't know how to like just like tell you that they appreciated your stuff well, it, it was like they didn't want to tell me they appreciated it they just like i don't even know what they were going for but like they just wanted to say something but they didn't want me to think that they liked me Right. So it'd just be like, yo, like, don't you fucking, like, do YouTube videos or whatever? Right. Yeah. And you're like, you're a subscriber. Like, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. 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 Meanwhile, yeah. those dudes are going around like, I know that guy. Yeah. That guy. Yeah. 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 We kick it. Yeah. 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 Well, vibe wise, I'm feeling pretty good right now. How are you guys feeling? Yeah, yeah, I'm solid. Dude. Green juice. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'll take my yeah. second green juice and just shit myself. <laughs> oh, yeah. Dude, that ginger's going to. It's good. Yeah, shout out JT for the for the green juices. JT Ginger in the house. That's what's up. Yeah, we all know these, chug mine right these now. are not cheap. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's there's kale in there. It's pretty expensive. <laughs> it's so expensive. Yo, when did kale become a thing? Seriously. Ten years like ago. Like a few years ago, ten right? Ten years ago? I, I think ten. I was I say like, like four. Four, yeah. yeah. Never even heard of it. No, four? No, I think more than four. I think like Six. college when is when they got big. Before. What, did it not exist before that? I heard about it in college. Nope. nope. You got founded? They found it. They found that new element. Right. <laughs> and that was kale sprung from that. Nice. Yeah. I still was wonder why it became so cool. So are you guys uh, dating right now? Yeah. Are you are you <laughs> single or are you spoken for it? Um, no, I wouldn't say I'm single. No. All right. Yeah. What about you? Yeah, I wouldn't say I'm single either. It's, man, it's hard out here. It's yeah. tough, dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What 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 what's hard about it? Oh man, um, w- well, just dating in general. At yeah, or whatever. I think, I think what's hard about dating at this age for people like us probably is that you and I, you guys are probably the same way. If you're like ambitious and there's a lot you want to do, it's hard to prioritize a relationship the way a lot of other people are prioritizing relationships mm-hmm. and giving it the time and energy that other people are giving it when like that's like on their top three list of priorities. Yeah. So when your yeah. significant other is looking around, seeing people get a lot of it, as much attention as like, you know, another person is giving to their job or like their family, like they want that too. I haven't been able to provide that consistently. Yeah. Right. I will say my perspective has shifted a little Okay. in the last year. Let me hear that. I, for a while, I was very, like, anti anything. I didn't want any, you know, any attachments, any expectations. And then, like, I just kind of hit a point where, like, I don't really care about going out that much Mm -hmm. as much as I used to. Like, it just kind of got, like, I was like, okay, like, it's the same shit. Kind of did it all. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I could go to the clubs. It would be the same fucking thing as it is next week or the next week or last week or last year. And then once I like stopped caring about going out, I was like, it would, it's kind of nice to have like a someone, mm-hmm. you know, that you're not like you're not out. Like I don't care to be out like trying to meet new chicks all the time. Right. Yeah. yeah. You know, and I also yeah, don't no, like trust exhausting. those those people <coughs> who I'm meeting out. I don't trust their intentions. So I don't know where I'm at right now is like, you find someone that's like cool and likes you for you. It's worth it. Yeah. 
yeah. just vibing out right now. I feel that. <laughs> I know what you mean about like, wise. when you go out to clubs too. Like and sometimes, like if I'm like working through stuff, sometimes I'll like go out to like figure stuff out, which is such like have you ever been like at a club and you're like drinking, you're like all right, I'm gonna get to like the bottom of what I'm feeling right now. <laughs> it's get kind to of the a bottom. It's it. kind of a weird environment to be doing that in. But like I've been at clubs and you just do it after a while and you're like, when you hit that wall where you're like, oh, I'm not really getting anything out of this anymore. But you're in this place that's like going off and everyone's like fucking raging and you're just looking around and you're like, I don't even know who I am right now. Like, I don't even know what I'm doing here. It's a weird thing because you've had some so existential crises. Yeah, this was lately. Oh. This was like, like a week ago. Like every day. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Like every day. <laughs> who am I? Yeah. No, I but I feel that. There, there is something about after after college though. Yeah, going because in college when you're going out, it's like, I think because it's so new, you're like creating memories or whatever. It's like feels so good. And then like now it's just kind of the same shit. Or it's like, I don't know. Yeah. You wake up the next day and you're like, yeah, I didn't really get anything out of that. Yeah, like fr- like Friday, Saturdays. The problem I have with like Friday nights and Saturday nights right now is like, I don't like creating an expectation for like, you know, Friday's here. Like, we better fucking send it. Like, I would right. much rather like some spontaneous Wednesday where it's like, yo, yeah. we should go to this thing that I just heard about and right. go there and then that turns into something. But like, I don't like creating like a weekend expectation where it's like, we got to live up to this. Yeah, Cause I feel like that's where things get repetitive and like, I mean, at least lately, like that's just like personally where I'm at. Right. And now. the people you go out with are like stressed out in those situations. Like they're like, are we having enough fun? Like yeah. should we go somewhere else? And you're like, I wish everyone could just chill. Right. Yeah. yeah. I started having that moment where you're looking around the club and you're like, okay, like it started happening like really, really fast. <laughs> and I was like, okay, like. It's this. Like, yeah. I'd get to the club. I'd be like, "All right, cool, cool, okay, all right, that's <laughs> a wrap." All right, you guys right. Uh, ready to hit? But it? you know what though? Like, I, I hang around dudes who, right? I'm the same way lately. But there's a lot of people I know who, in those situations, are trying to find somebody. Right. And they're yeah. like, it's not so much about trying to have the most fun. It's just like I got to find somebody. At first, it was like I want to find somebody just to go home with, and now I feel like there's dudes out here looking for like their girl yeah. in the club, in the and bar. They're stressed, and they're stressing. <laughs> you know, they're, they're like stressed. looking and around. I feel and they're bad. Like, like no girls here, and I'm like, who yeah. cares? I'm like, dude? yeah, totally fine. Going home, I don't feel like they feel like they took L's at home. Yeah, like, man, couldn't talk dude, to dude I know that feeling. Night. Yeah, like, shit. I was with my boy. We were in Miami a couple weeks ago. We were out at the like getting like an arepa outside the club at getting like three. What? What? Arepa. It's like a uh, South American like. Uh, kind of flour okay. tortilla thing Amazing. it's good it's fucking good um and uh we were both like we just both felt like nerds because we didn't talk to any chicks and i thought it was stuff we had gotten past when we were younger but i was like no it's recurring like it's coming back now and i just had to like accept myself and be like dude you're as good as you are right now you are <laughs> yeah, yeah no, dude, no you're worth it it's yeah. also hard talking to girls in la girls in la have a high standard mm-hmm. they are not easy to approach yeah. It's tough. They're, it's tough they're quick to, to call a guy a creep out here, dude. For yeah, sure. Be careful. Yeah. yeah, that's scary. Yeah. yeah, we get a lot of people writing in about that. Well, yeah. girls thinking guys are creeps, or no, just how to approach too. You know what I mean? My theory is that LA is such a personal space oriented city. You're in your car all the time. Yeah, you're by yourself all the time. Everyone has their space. Everyone's on their phone. Whatever they go. Whereas, like in a city like New York, Boston, Chicago, any other city with public transportation, you're around other humans all the time. Yeah. When we go to a bar here, it's like you're seeing people for the, you know, girls act like, whoa, that's an alien when you walk up to them. Yeah. They already have this guard up. But yeah, girls out here are weird, man. Yeah. And they're all models. So. Yeah. yeah. So, so we all got to get on scooters. That's right. So we can bond. I, I had Razor scooters yeah. in Sherman Oaks. They don't have birds, they have razors. Razors? razors. How Electric do like, razors. How do they regulate it? The same way they regulate birds. With no. a barcode? Yeah. But like, you just pedal them? Yeah. No, no, it's okay. electric. <laughs> Oh, oh. It's like a bird, but it's Razor's version of bird. Oh. Yeah. Razor's coming back. They're red and white. They're dope. Good. Dude, uh, there competition was a bird sitting in the middle. Someone had just left one, like, purposely in the middle of my street. Well, we yeah. there's a Instagram um, bird account. Bird graveyard. Yeah, bird yeah. graveyard, where it's, like, just sadists on there. Yeah. 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 Bleep that out. Don't give them any love on this. That's true. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Why do they care so much? I don't know. They're like, they're destroying the city. Let's throw them in the ocean. And you're like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's got to be an old people thing. You know it, it I mean? Totally, like, yeah. Like, let's keep our streets clean. You think old people are picking up birds? No, I'm <laughs> saying old people are the ones that are pissed about the birds. Oh, okay. And they're telling their grandkids. Yeah. You know, you go get pick up the birds. Goddamn bird scooters. <laughs> my neighbor, who's my Uber driver. Like, every time I call an Uber Select, I get the same guy. He pulls out his driveway. He, like, literally lives, like, eight houses down. <laughs> and this guy 
fucking hates birds. Like, every time I'm like, yo, Murray, what's good with you and birds, man? He's always like, dude, earlier today. He always has a story that happened, like, within the last 12 hours. Like, he has beef with birds. Some people yeah. are, like, bird beef. really against them. Yeah, I hear where they're coming from, some of the people. But at the same time, it's like, look, change is going to happen, so just get used to it. Yeah. And, like, look at the streets in other countries. Like, other countries have, like, scooters and, like, cars parked on yeah. their sidewalks. It's just because, like, California or America in general, like, the streets are generally, like, there's nothing on there. And all of a sudden, now we have, like, a... Personal space, see? Now we want you in a grill mm -hmm. in L.A. Have you guys traveled together? Yeah, so much. Yeah, we've been to some places. Yeah. Where, where, what, what countries we're talking about? We've been, we did a travel show like a year and a half ago. Yeah, mm -hmm. so we went to a bunch of places. It took us to like Mongolia. Yeah. How was that? The capital city is hard mm -hmm. to have fun in, but when once you get out to like <laughs> what Mongolia, makes it hard? when you get out to the middle, like six hour drive into nothingness Mongolia like or we were staying three hour Birch. flight then a six hour drive into more nothingness on the border of Russia Mongolia then yeah. it's cool like yeah. it's a bunch of cows and we stayed with an eagle hunter yeah in, that's in cool. like yurts it was it was pretty sick was cool. like it was yeah, a yeah. cool experience should have brought more drugs but it was cool yeah like, there was a <laughs> lot we ate a lot of goat yeah oh man I smelled some goat or something that smelled like that recently I almost threw up it just brings it all back did you guys really bring drugs I know I had ed oh actually <laughs> dude this guy <laughs> I, I've, I've flown with, like, shrooms before. Um, I just went yeah. to Japan and had a good amount of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Paul this McCartney guy. got caught bringing stuff into Japan. What well, yeah. did you say to Paul McCartney, though? Why yeah. is he flying private also? Yeah, yeah. it's but dangerous. Well, yeah. Christian, like, gets pulled aside. We're coming through Mongolian customs. And Christian gets pulled aside, and I knew that he brought, like, edibles and, and stuff. I didn't know the extent. <laughs> gets, That's like, better, yeah. He gets pulled into some room. And like we're waiting for him and like the director of the show and like the producer are like waiting with me and they're like like what's going on like what's what's happening why is he in this room and i'm sitting there like i mean <laughs> <laughs> i don't know maybe maybe he had like weed or something i don't know, I don't know. And yeah. it was, i mean like they were they were our boys yeah but then they're like freaking out like oh no like he has weed and then i guess like yeah, so what happened was they check your bags once you get off the plane in Mongolia, which was weird. And I had, like, on the flight, like, moves, moved these, like, marijuana mints to, like, mm -hmm. my backpack because I wanted to eat them on the plane and go to sleep. And wasn't ready for this. Marijuana mints, you know. Mar you know, marijuana <laughs> mints. Wasn't ready for this second search. So they see, they see the leaf on there when it goes to the x-ray. They pull it out and... See, in my backpack, all I had was the marijuana mints. In my bag, though, I had a lot of edibles. And I had a couple of wax pens and cartridges, and I was ready to go. And uh, it's like, oh, what is this? Like, weed leaf. I'm pointing to it. I don't speak English. I'm pointing to the weed leaf. Like, what is this? What is this? And I'm like, oh, medicine. Like, sleeping medicine. Like, sleep medicine. And they're <laughs> like, they kind of buy it for a second. And they're like, no, 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 no. What is this? What is this? What is this? I'm like, yeah, you know, sleep medicine. They're like, no, you come with us, right? And that's probably when you guys saw me go into this little, like, room. They call a supervisor Which over. was concerning. Yeah. Yeah, were you nervous? I was a little nervous, right? So they called two supervisors over, I would assume, these like, supervisors. They see it, they look at it like, yeah, that's the, that's the symbol, right? <laughs> what is this? What is this? Mm -hmm. Same thing. Medicine, sleep, you know, sleep. And they're like, kind of suspicious, right? They're like, all right, come to this smaller room. So I go to this smaller room, and there's another dude in there, right? This American dude, and they have his suitcase, like, open, but, like, they haven't, like, looked through it yet, right? And mm -hmm. he looks a little more scared than me. Yeah. I'm like, oh, shit, this is, like, that room. <laughs> this is that back room on like all the movies where they just strip search you, right? Yeah. So something's going on with him, something's going on with me. They're like talking in Mongolian, they're talking about it, and they grab the mints again, and they're like, they pull them out, they start opening them, like looking for something, nothing's done, nothing's done, and they're asking me again, what is this, what is this? Same thing, sleep, medicine, medicine. So looking at me, looking at the other guy, looking at me, and they're like, all right, like get out of here, pack your things up, right? So pack my things up, I hurry out real quick. As I'm walking out of this little interrogation room, two more officers are coming in with two dogs. I'm like, oh shit, I just walked right past him. If I would've stayed in there, it would've been a wrap because I had a lot of stuff in my bag, but that dude who was in there, he was fucked. I don't know what happened to him. He's yeah. not coming back to Mongolia. Right. Bless him. Yeah, yeah. Bless yeah I don't think those, those dogs, I don't, they don't smell weed, the dogs. They don't? No. What? <laughs> In my experience, because I've walked by the dogs with like. Well, where, where are you me. talking about? Because they might have been bomb dogs. 
Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I was. Oh. I think it was like such Coachella. a weird place. It was no. Nah, it was like at the airport. I think these were drug dogs. These were drug dogs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, like I, I walked by. I was at Coachella and I had like a bunch of joints on me, and like you know joints on me. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and like we were walking by these dogs, and we were it was like the artist entrance, so we're thinking we're good, you know. I have them like, I have these boxers with a little zipper, put them in the zipper. That's a great compartment. Yeah, it's a great compartment. And there's these two dogs just standing there, and I'm like, I like see them, and I like turn around, and I'm like, dude, there's dogs right there. My roommate, it's like, dude, they got to be bomb dogs. I'm like, so what? I'm supposed to just just go with that? I yeah. Just hope for the best. He's like, I don't see another option, man. So I just wa- just walked right by the dogs, and they were bomb dogs. Oh, okay. Yeah. Whew. I thought you were gonna say something else. Whew. No. <laughs> Dude, I was at, I was at the airport one time, and I did the the one where they scan you like this, uh-huh. and I just had the edible in my hand. Wow. Yeah. That's a good move. No, but I came through, and the guy goes, "Hey, there's something in your hand." Oh, really? And I open it up, and he looks at it. He's like, "What is that?" I go, "It's a weed." <laughs> <laughs> and then he just went, "Go ahead." And no me past. way. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. where it'd be yeah. great if you just opened your hand, and there was nothing, and he's like, "What?" And you just pulled it out behind his ear. It's an edible. Yeah, just eat it real fast. That's what I should have done. The trick is you if you want to edibles you put them in a bag full of regular candy oh, right call. Smart. Like, oh that's just his snack bag yeah yeah what's your guys's favorite thing to do when you oh, is this recording yes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what's your guys favorite thing to do when you get high now it's regular shit this is just whatever i was already doing go to the grocery store or something can't do that actually because you're too hungry and get, i'm too just yeah hung, i'll get i'll buy yeah. everything right i don't need so yeah. many cereals that i'm never gonna eat yeah I've like, I'm ambitious. That's like the la- the only time I like actually go grocery <clears throat> shopping is if I'm high and I go there for something specific, mm-hmm. and then I'm like, well, I could get some turkey, right, and some cheese, baby wipes. Yeah, I'm like, why? <laughs> yeah, baby wipes. <laughs> <laughs> and then I come home with like a full cart of shit. I'm like, why did I just? What am I doing? I'm actually a big. I like I like playing video games. I was gonna say I'm excited to get Red Dead because that's gonna be my next thing. But uh, Spider Man was my thing for the past like. Red Dead looks so this. fun. It looks so. Dope. It's just so, so realistic. I, I love those games where it's like it's like a whole universe. So like you don't have to like stay on like a mission. It's like you can yeah. just do what you can just like fish or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Apparently you can just like hunt. Yeah, I rubbed. Like, it. I was just petting a dog. I was like bonding with my horse. You know. <laughs> oh, you you were playing it? Yeah. I, oh, my, dude. My roommate <laughs> is like a big gamer, so like he got me into this. Mm-hmm. I blame him. The new Super Smash Bros. just came out. That's a pretty heated thing really? in my house right now. Yeah. Damn. Who's your roommate? My roommate, his name's, well, he's not like, you wouldn't know him. Sure, sure. <laughs> but how'd his you guys get like, uh, His name's connected. Ninja. Ninja, for real? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, his, his, his name's Felipe. You guys been boys forever? Nah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? What do you do when you get keyed? Like, Man, dude, I do too much stuff. Like, I'm like, you know, just like trying to get active doing a bunch of our stuff yeah i just like go to the gym i mean it's super oh, yeah. fun to work out when definitely you're i agree yeah, That's yeah. The best. Uh, i like to go to movies by myself sit in the very back of the theater it's where you go yeah and i like to go to like kind of empty ones and just because i can write myself notes then when it's happening and stuff mm. and i can move around the theater a little bit and it's a fun like a little more immersive experience than normally seeing the movie that's I cool yeah that. that's really cool i've never seen a movie solo Really? Uh, yeah. Oh, it's like my favorite thing. Really? Yeah. Yeah, because I worry about the other person. When I see it with other people, I'm like, I get easily distracted. Really? Yeah, but when I'm by myself, I can just like lock in a little bit more. Wow. Yeah, I like yeah. to just make my own like throne. Yeah. I, you know what? I'm gonna be at the t- top of my list right now. Is well, if actually, but it's the opposite kind of getting high and going to the movies like with people. I love that. If everyone's right. getting faded together, like in the parking that lot, that is fun. We're going yeah. together. We're gonna see Grindelwald. <laughs> Did you guys, see Grindelwald? <laughs> Did you guys do you, that? Uh, have you been to a movie solo? I did once. I was a kid, and it was just because I wanted to see something different than my family was seeing. They were seeing like Snow Dogs. Mm. I, I want to see Snow Dogs. What did you see? I think I saw four months, three weeks, and two days. It was a PG thirteen movie. I remember that. Ooh. It was like a big deal. Risky. Nice. I wasn't thirteen. I was. Yeah. I'm curious about this. What's your guys' like a uh, like dream project to do together? Jesus. I don't know. I don't know either. That's tough. Let's look at the notes. Yeah. I don't know. There's a long list of sketches we have that I don't know how many will ever get done. Yeah, I mean, honestly, like, Real Bros is pretty... Bros is pretty That's dope. That's it? Pretty dope. Yeah. I don't know. Middle school would have been great. Middle school, that would have been fun. Yeah. <laughs> we basically, like, the concept of Big Mouth, like, we were doing that, but, like, playing... 
the kids. Oh, oh that's I love so, those and videos. live action. Yeah. 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 So we were playing like dude, that's so like fun. Ten year old, just it was called like first one called sixth grade sleepovers, and it was just us. Talking oh, I watched. That like, was great. Yeah. 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 yeah it was just us talking about like all the weird shit that we used to do when we were kids. Right. Yeah. And then we pitched a show based on that. Um, and it was actually really fucking funny. We wrote the first two episodes, and they were so fucking funny. Um, and then I don't really, you know, we just pitched it to some places. Definitely didn't help that Big Mouth came out. No. Right. It's definitely a better thing to do animated. I still don't think I like that. Ours, I love yeah. ours do though. more, yeah. and you don't have to worry about. Because, like, we were going to have, uh, like, half us like adults and half kids and just never address that some of them <laughs> look like they're 30 and some of them look like they're 11 right like it was just gonna be like we're yeah. all sixth graders um which would have been funny visually but then there's also that like line you'd have to dance on where it's like if you know you're dating a like you have a crush on a girl like you gotta make sure that doesn't look weird i, I like right the, uh, i like the fifth grade Smart. one the, fifth the recess. Grade recess yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Fifth grade recess yeah I thought that was, especially with the girl, the girls sort of look like the same age, kind of. Right, yeah, yeah. exactly, yeah. Did but then you see one? all the kids on the no, yard. Sorry. Yeah, <laughs> all the kids in the yard. Yeah. Um, the uniforms, too, that got me. That would have been cool. Yeah, yeah, like we like we had an episode, I don't even know if we should say episode ideas. Yeah, I don't even I know. I still, like, just want to. Yeah, it's going to happen. I was just yeah. thinking about this. There's That pilot is fucking hilarious. I like the second episode. Second episode is also, yeah, second episode is crazy. The second episode is, like, I used to print out when I was, like, actually a little kid I used to actually like print out I used to put like pictures of boobs on one word document <laughs> so did I low key and then I'd key. print them out so that I could save them for later <laughs> right which is so fucking weird but I would do that and then so in the second episode of this show it would be like my character like someone finds out about it at school and he starts selling them and it turns into like this whole like like a drug ring operation. Industry. Like a yeah, drug yeah. operation. Yeah. It's like, like blow, but with like tit pics. Yeah, his, <laughs> his locker's filled with like like fruit roll-ups and gushers, and like he's like balling out, and the principal's on to him. It's what about you guys? What's your guys' dream project? Our dream? Uh, we're, it's a tough clash, yeah. Yeah, I think we're working on one right now. We, yeah. we haven't actually told the Stokers, but we well, have like a... I don't, I don't want you guys to prematurely... Blow your announce road. anything. Yeah. yeah, I'd love what? to do like a Mr. Rogers what show where I like interview kids. What'd you say about blowing? You said prematurely what? Prematurely. Sorry, go on. Yeah. No, you get <laughs> blowing lo what? What? Stokers? <laughs> Loads for the Stokers? <laughs> what? Oh, dude. <laughs> um, um, when did the? Uh, how long did you guys have the idea for Real Bros before it became a? Came to fruition. It happened pretty quick. Yeah, it wasn't one of those ones like. There's been some ideas that like we sat on for like two years, mm -hmm. and then finally did. Yeah. This was like it happened like not like super quick, but we always months. joked about like how the cities on Real Housewives were getting so random. Yeah, like it was like Real Housewives, the Potomac, like, Potomatic. Yeah, Potomac, that was so like, funny. Like all these. They did that. Yeah, that's hilarious. It's like one of the popular ones now. Yeah, and like. We were like, we gotta make, I mean, we've always like made fun of reality shows and like thought it was ridiculous. And uh, we also grew up around a lot of the same bros. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nice so bro. then it was like, we should do a spoof of this, but like, we're not gonna write a housewives show. Like, you know? Yeah. Like, what should we do a show about, bros? Mm -hmm. From where? Valley bros, they gotta be valley bros. We grew up, I mean, we both went to high school with so many of these like, white, transformer, Oakley looking, yeah you know hats down to their eyes like just like tank top yeah Fox huge race traps. trying to be yeah trying yeah. to be cholos on motocross bikes basically yeah yeah do you think that's the deepest bro the simi valley bro well it came down to three cities i always say this just to let people know that it's nothing personal to see me it came down to santa clarita valencia <laughs> and simi valley yeah. and simi valley just has the nicest ring to it mm -hmm. yeah yeah Santa Clarita also has a nice flow, yeah. but it'll come up. Yeah, there's a season three. Yeah, I love the uh, the intros of all the bros. Like so <laughs> good. Duncan's turnaround. <laughs> so oh, funny, yeah. man. And then like like all the all the music. I, I love the way you guys do it with like all the music in between each shot. Like it's sort of like that. Um, oh, that the like transitions. The transition, yeah, yeah. So like um, they, they, like just those little details in the show crack me up so much. It kind of feels like it could have been a real MTV show back in the day. Yeah. Like, if they weren't trying to be funny. 
Oh yeah, for sure. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. It feels like it could have been a real ass like show. A true, like a true, true like, like before the, the hills. Valley, bro. You watch yeah. Yeah. Valley. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Life of Ryan. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. MTV had that? super Was that compelling Ryan thing. Yeah. yeah, I just like that because he had the dopest Range Rover. I was yeah, like, how do I get one of those as a kid? That's all I, remember, I just remember hearing about that because all the girls all of a sudden knew who Ryan Sheckler was. Right. Mm-hmm. I was like, how do you guys know who Ryan Sheckler was? Like, you guys don't skate. Yeah. Like, because he's so hot. He's on Life of Ryan. He's so sensitive. He cries. <laughs> they cried? Yeah. Just cry dude, I felt bad for him. I thought I was like, dude, they're boning him in the edit. <laughs> yeah. Like every episode, he'd have so many bitch moments. I was like, damn, dude, like. Dude, you I gotta, you gotta get in that room. Like, I was wondering reality shows. Like, so much of the show is them talking shit about other people in the show. Yeah, it's like, do you guys not wa- like? They gotta watch the show. Yeah. So it's like no one has any secrets. Everything is just out there, mm-hmm. and no one ever clocks the camera. Like, if I was about to talk shit on someone, I'd be like, "Yo, like Brooks is a fucking," and then I'd look at the camera and be like, "Nah, never mind. I'm good." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And just let it slide. Well, at the end of, like, all the real worlds and stuff, they'd have, like, the reunion. And, like, I feel like it'd be, like, everyone saw everything then. So it'd just be, like, they all be, like, yeah, that's fucked up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we wanted to do, like, a... After the bros. After the bros. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> we still could. Still would yeah. be a yeah. cool thing to do. Yeah. yeah. You got to get Andy... D- What's the guy's name from Bravo? Andy Cohen. Yeah, dude. Oh, wow. <laughs> Moderate it. Yeah. Andy Cohen. Make it like a fucking Springer event. Yeah. Just Dude, Andy Cohen's out. name came up at the holidays when like the moms were talking about who they have crushes on. Who's Andy Cohen? He's like a... He's like the Bravo guy. Yeah. Yeah, he like hosts like a lot of their shows. Like oh, three okay. of the moms said Andy Cohen. I was like, really? He's a good looking dude. I yeah. Guess, I guess so. I heard Anderson Cooper and him almost got together. Really? Yeah. Swear. That'd be a good power couple. Anderson Cooper's the man. Yeah. He's a cool dude. He comes from like a huge fan. His mom oh, he's was a like Vanderbilt. A, yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. So nuts. There's a university named after him. Oh, oh wow. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Never made that connection. Um, this is kind of a weird question, but like um, a lot of this, what we talk about on here is like, uh, I guess like uh, we try to like inspire ourselves. What? How do you guys like get inspired or like what motivates you? <clears throat> I, I, I t- like, I get inspired like, randomly like I feel like the best ideas just kind of come to you you know like you see something or say something or hear something that kind of like strikes up a train of thought Mm -hmm. and then that just leads you down this like mental path and you just gotta I think the way like you just gotta embrace that when it happens and whether it's just like writing it down in your notepad or just like making a conscious effort to like remember what you're thinking about like it's hard for me to like sit down and like think of new ideas like unless Mm -hmm. you know like i feel like all the ideas for like sketches or anything like when you're living yeah it's like when you're out there living it's like something inspires Mm -hmm. it that's like actually like all my ideas are inspired by like real events Mm -hmm. you know it's not like i'm just thinking like what if, I mean, I mean, I guess, but the, I feel like the initial idea is always from something that is somewhat real. It's just funny when like you think of like you, you think of one thing and then you think of another thing and then another thing, and then like you say the eighth thing out loud randomly, and everyone's just like, "What?" And you're like, "Oh, sorry, I was just like in my head, yeah. halfway through a sketch right. in my head." They don't and see I all the like, connections right. that got you no, there. No, don't do that. Yeah. Like, what? <laughs> oh, did I say that? Did I say that out loud? <laughs> yeah, I actually do that all the time. That's beautiful. Yeah, yeah. yeah we're just deep just in it. Random That's show. Yeah. I'll be like driving, just like talking. They're like, "What are you saying?" I'm like, "I'm just reading the signs." <laughs> <laughs> um, what inspires me artistically? It's very similar to Jimmy. It's living. Uh, yeah. But just to like to do things and like you know try to be the best version of me, probably l- looking at people who. I have a lot of regret. Like I feel like I know a lot of people who are like older, like who are like done with like their ambitious portion of life, who are just like full of regret and think about all the things they could have done. Which sounds like a dark thing to think about, but I'm just like trying to do the opposite of that. Mm-hmm. I and love just that. trying to be like, oh man, like you know, you're you're so upset that you had all these years and you didn't spend them the way like you probably should have. So I'm gonna try to do the opposite. I'm gonna try to spend them exactly how I want. Yeah. The future me to look back and be like, yeah, I'm glad I did that. That's cool. Yeah, I, I heard some someone talk about how there's like a yogi 
who would talk about he's like i try to live every day like there's a katana just like hanging above my head like about to drop yeah it's, it's smart yeah. yeah damocles sword yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty dark. It, can, it sounds like pretty dark to think about, like, what if I died tomorrow? Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I also, do, I think about what it. if you did die tomorrow? Yeah, you know? I always think I'm having an aneurysm or exactly. something. That's, yeah. why that's why you bring acid onto yeah. planes to Japan. <laughs> yeah. You do them. Yeah, you it can motivate both acid. the greatest things and the random shit. Direct yeah. translation. I don't know, man. Okay. Katana, Japan. Oh, dude, that's where it's going to happen. Paul McCartney, I heard you yeah. say that. <laughs> All right, should we get into the questions? Yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Let's All right. right. This one's from Nicholas. What's up, dudes? I've got a situation I'm not real sure what to do about. There's this chick I'm pretty good friends with from college, and I'm not sure if I should try to take it to the next next level or not. We hooked up a few times in college, but that was a few years back, and now we both live in the same city. We've never been out of contact with each other, but have been hanging out more since we've left college. I think I like this girl, and she seems to be the best choice of my potential suitors. I'm not good at reading body language and can't tell if I should make a move or not or on her, or no, if I should even. Would really appreciate some advice. Nick, P.S. Fuck Puzio. Puzio's a kid I fought in high school. Oh, wow, did you win? Oh, uh, you all right? I did win, but then the spin <laughs> doctors got control of it the next day, and they said, because I walked away, that he actually won the fight. But when the I who? left the fight, the spin doctors, uh, like the people who like controlled the narrative at my high school. Oh, wow. Yeah. The fake Were they news? DJs? Yeah. No. Oh, okay. Wait, so this guy used to Probably. hook up with the girl. Okay, yeah, sorry, back to the question. No, I don't think he's ever hooked up with he her. Said he hooked well, he up said a couple times, times yeah. Up. Oh, they did, okay, cool. a few cool. years back, <clears throat> and now they both live in the same city. That's one of the weirder ones, because it's always weird when, like, you used to hook up with a girl, and then mm-hmm. a long period of time passes. Especially when you're in an environment like college, which is a compl- not the real world at all. Yeah, mm-hmm. and then now you're, like, back, yeah. and you're like, wait, I like her. Like, that's weird. Yeah. Yeah. Man, I got the same question, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like if you're if you're not confident just making that move, then you should just tell her how you feel and just keep it real. You know, yo, it's been weird since college, girl. <laughs> but I like you. Right. Do you like me? Mhm. I love it. Cut to the quick. Yeah, cuz like move. if cuz if you felt it enough to make a move, then do it. I'd say do it. But if you're really not sure, talk to her. Yeah. And just be real. But do it in a cool way though. You like, look nervous about that advice. I know, dude. I'm just imagining this guy just going for it, and her just, you know, he's here, and she's just, oh. <laughs> that, yeah. Oh, man. Well, do it. I'm saying do it somewhere cool, like on a balcony. Right. You know? With, like, a wind blowing. Yeah. Yeah, so it hurts it's extra hard. if it doesn't. <laughs> right. Yeah. 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 So you got a beautiful so jump off if she says no. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Basically. No, I think you're right, though. I think he's got to go for it. Yeah, and then just like, it. but don't think about it forever. Like, the quicker you yeah. can get out of the way, the sooner you know if she's into you or not. And you right, can move right. on. Yeah. yeah. But I like the way you're saying just be direct. Yeah. Yeah. Open up the lines of communication. Yeah. Yeah. I right. agree. Maybe since you're like out of college, maybe try to make it a little more adult, you know? Just be like, let's go. Yeah, take her somewhere. Yeah, let's go put on, I'm gonna put on a suit, you put on a dress, let's get like Italian. I yeah. wish I had the balls to do that. Same. Did you guys get nervous like before you ask out chicks and stuff? Depends on how much you like her. Uh, I don't know, it really, it really depends on the situation. Yeah. yeah. There's some situations that you're just like, you know, you're getting mixed signals, you're not confident in it. And then there's others where it's like, it's very clear. Right. Mm-hmm. So I don't know. It really goes situation by situation. Um, that was a good one though. All right, second question from a Danny. Dude, it's very honored to speak with you via email. I hope this finds you well. I ran into my old babysitter who I had a major crush on back in the day, like first stiffy and all. Being a gentleman, I said, it's very nice to see you, Becca. We should grab a bite and catch up. To which she replied, oh yeah, Want to get fish tacos at Ricky's? Sounds like it's going well. So, like, she for sure wants to get intimate. Any tips on what to wear? <laughs> to fish taco night at Ricky's? <laughs> <laughs> I've never been to Ricky's, but it sounds like a jeans and a shirt type of place. Yeah, maybe a Hawaiian tea. Yeah. Dude, that's what I was going to say. I like his confidence, too. He's like, fish tacos, we're going to bone. Yes. Yeah. He's like, she for sure wants to get intimate. She brought up fish tacos, though. Yeah. I mean, right. Yeah. This could just be the way we're reading it, but if she actually fired back with fish tacos that quick, right. it's impressive. Was I don't she have just, ideas. Was she fast. craving fish tacos? Like, like, yeah, and most yeah. girls don't. You're like, where do you want to go? And they're like, wherever. Yeah. yeah they're I a little have indecisive no idea about it. Where to go. Which, yeah. If, if you're like, hey, you should go on a date with this girl, I'd be like, well, fuck, I got to brainstorm. Right. Yeah. I got a Google. I got yeah. a I got a hit up Yelp. Let's go on Yelp. Yeah. yeah. You know? Yeah. I get too deep into Yelp dives. 
I swear. I treat it like Instagram. I read the reviews on that person's page. I'm like, where else have they eaten? <laughs> I've gotten so deep. But when you're reading those Yelp reviews, you got to take into account, like, if that guy's got an agenda. Right. You know? Like he's so hating on If he agenda. sounds mad, you know, you should look in, you should be like, okay, I got to take yeah. this with a grain of salt. This guy has been having a shitty day already. Yeah. Well, you read their other 12 reviews and they're all like nasty and you're like, okay, this person's like a bitter person right. looking for a platform. Right. You had to tear down. Some people are like, this is the worst bodegas. place I've ever eaten in my yeah. life. I'm like, really? Uh-huh. This Chipotle? <laughs> <laughs> this is the worst one? Okay, I guess. All right, we got a Chud. What's up, dudes? My name is Chud and I'm a huge fan. Stay lifted, dogs. Thanks for this inspiration, guys, especially you, JT. I haven't beaten my dick in two whole days. I'm a, I'm a porn addict, so they, they like to talk to me about it. Um, stoked. Anyways, I've been crushing on my dog Rob's mom all month. Any tips on how to say what up to her? Much love, Chud. Wait, hold on. <laughs> this guy sounds like a Wait, did he, did he brag about not beating his meat cause, to impress you? Yeah, just to say that he's like <laughs> cognizant of the fact that he's got an issue and he's working to like get oh, it better. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, because like... Uh, He's not saying he's holding out for her. It's two days a long no. time. I think it, I think they're disconnected thoughts, but I th I feel like there is some commonality in where these things are coming from. Right. Yeah, because that mom thing that. is probably from like he's watching too much like Brazzers, my friend's hot mom. Right. And I think he needs to watch more. Uh, what year is this? Twenty eleven. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that was a good burn. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Um, I don't, dude, I got no advice for how to spit game at a mom. Oh, you don't? No. I got you. No, <laughs> take it away. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's tricky. If it's, especially if it's your boy, just don't. That's my advice. Don't spit at your boy's mom. Yeah. yeah. It depends, like, are you guys, are they boys' boys? Or are they acquaintances? If they're acquaintances and he doesn't really care about their friendship. Right. If one of them's planning, like, a, like a trip to the snow, is he inviting the other person? Or is there, like, five other homies that are getting invited first? Right. Because if he's not invited, then like maybe hit up the mom. Yeah, it's like you got to think about, are you willing to sacrifice your friendship right. for a 5% chance with that guy's mom? He might be good looking. What's his chud? <laughs> 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 All right, yeah, 5% is about 5%. Maybe he, could, uh, maybe he could broach the subject with his boy. Be like kind of jokey, you know, like, hey, what if I hooked up with your mom and then like see the response and then like, if that, it, think, if you it's think positive, his friend would take that as a well, joke? <laughs> <laughs> if it's positive, get more serious. You'd be like, for real. Like, I'm, yeah, you know yeah. What I'm saying? test the waters with some jokes. I think that'd yeah. be the way to do it. I think if you're trying to hook up with somebody that someone you care about cares about, fucking tell them. Yeah, yeah. Good, yeah. good policy. I, I also, I've been, I'm big on like reciprocity and like, I think he's got to tee his boy up with his own mom <laughs> if he's going to try and do that. Right. Yeah. Good call. Hitch it. Yeah, because that, that'll probably be a stop. I like Chad's idea, though, you know, like, <laughs> like what if I hooked up with your mom? <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> and then he's like, dude, that'd be fucking hilarious. Yeah. Like, yeah. Okay. How? <laughs> that's, that's the only green <laughs> light I needed. He yeah. just gets all serious. Like, okay, yeah. cool. Mom, <laughs> mom's waiting on the wire, just listening yeah. to the okay. Yeah. <laughs> and he does it. He's like, dude, you said it was cool, man. <laughs> dude, what do you mean? We were joking. I broached the subject on October 23rd at 8 p.m. <laughs> He said it was cool. Because <laughs> yeah. he just oh, goes, that'd shit. be crazy. <laughs> yeah. Who right. are you taking to prom? Your mom. <laughs> <laughs> we got Logan. What up, Stokers? With all the viral videos of people fighting, bullying, etc. on Twitter, how do you guys keep a positive mind? Saw two videos today that made me very sad and mad, leaving me in a terrible funk. Thanks, bros. Did you guys see the video of that dude dancing his way into knocking somebody out? No. no. Mid fight, street fight, scrap. I'm sorry to digress. We'll come back to this. Mid street fight, scrapping. This dude does like a Omari on like wave and then, <laughs> wow, crazy. See, that's the kind of stuff he needs to be watching and not the exactly because I I didn't like the fight part, but the dance part I liked. Yeah. So maybe you should watch that. Now, there's a lot of negative stuff on the internet. Yeah, you got to yeah. just stay away. Yeah, from don't look at it. The Instagram Explore page, mm -hmm. and, and if you're starting to see the wrong stuff. You just gotta click those three dots on the top right and say "see less of stuff like this." That's a thing. I did That's that with because I was, I would go down these dark dives where I'd be looking at stupid Instagram comedy and I'd just be getting more and more pissed off. Mm -hmm. You know, just which kind of creators are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Name names. Names. Yeah, yeah let's, let's get the red meat out there. Yeah. No, but you know, like I would just get more and more pissed off. 
And I, I think similarly to this guy, that's the kind of shit that angers me. Just, I don't know. I just, I just hate, just hate that stuff. I hate people like getting away with cruelty and then seeing it like liked by other people really upsets me. I hate like all the videos of like people like filming their kids like mm. he was bad so I shaved his head. Right. And now there's all the fake videos where like he's bad so I'm gonna shave his head. No I'm not. I love you son. Like, <sighs> That's a great idea for like you know how those like couples like prank each other on YouTube? Ugh. We need like a father son combo and they just fake punish. He fake my son was bad so I did this but the kid's in on it. That'd be right. subscribers right. bro. That would go over huge. I hate the videos where people give like comp like a uh, advice like very confidently, mm -hmm. but I think it's like not good for pe some people to hear. Oh, dude, so many like and they're just so yeah, just, just so advice. confident. Yeah, it's like who, who are you to give this advice? Yeah, dude, I fucked up on here. I'll I'll address it now. I told some kid to like drop out of college, and he was like in an Ivy League school. I think in like an effort to be compelling, I was just uh, not. Did um, you drop out of college? Not uh, being smart or. I don't, I don't think you told him like full on. No, I didn't I think tell him full you on. You suggested it. I, yeah, I was just thinking about it out loud, and I was like, if you're smart enough to get into a great college, maybe you're smart enough to drop out. But then all these people messaged me, and they're like, dude, what are you thinking? Like telling them that, and I was like, that was a little bit irresponsible of me. Uh, yeah, I mean, you got to be able to take advice though, right. and like think, does this apply to me? Yeah, it's not gospel. You yeah, know, like you can't just if you're blindly listening to advice, then like maybe you shouldn't be in that Ivy League school in the first place. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. All right, we got James. What up, Chad and JT? Recently divorced at 37. I keep my circle small, so the squad is mostly on lockdown. I'm headed to a few spots in Mexico for a, fuck, a, a couple weeks. Excuse me. I feel like I'm too old to rage at El Squid Row solo. Should I skip Cabo and just go to Tullam and chill? Love the pod. Y'all provide much enjoyment. Lots of love from Texas. There's James. no way my guy's 37. Let Going to Cabo. I think he is. <laughs> and I think I think if he doesn't have a squad, I think the move is to hit Tulum. It's much more chill. Tulum's so you can chill. Still party pretty hard. Yeah. Is there a party scene? I've never been. No, there's no party scene in Tulum. Where's Tulum? No, we went outside of Tulum. We went to Playa del Carmen to party. And there's a party scene there. Yeah. To be had. But Tulum is. But like he has access Tulum to that. Tulum is like kind of like Tulum? Santa Barbara vibes. Oh, okay. It's very chill. Um, but right outside of Tulum, there's a party area. But like. Actual Tulum is very chill. Yeah. Yeah. From what we've seen. Maybe he should do like both places. Because I feel like yeah. he has that bug, you know, where you're like, I need to go out. I need to like, you know, hang with my dogs or whatever. And he goes to Squid Row and he's like, all right, I have it. One night's good. And he goes to Tulum. Squid Row is nuts. It's, <laughs> yeah. You guys have been? Yeah. Squid Row? Yeah. Oh, dude, I love it so much. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Could you, was that, could you go back right now? No. I have, if you told me to go to Squid Row right now, I'd say to hard no. Dude, yeah. come on. Us four, we could do it, dude. we could tear it up. but we, we would tear it up, but, like, the consequences. Like, the pain <laughs> the pain the next day? You Not mean? even, like, the pain. I just wonder, like, what the fuck. I don't, I just don't know. Just being there? Like, getting into too much trouble, you think? Something would happen, guys. <laughs> I'm telling you right I was there. The biker gang, the happen. Mongols, was there one time when I was there. That's yeah, and, like, you'd go, into the, you'd go into the bathroom, and they'd, like, tell you to stay. Because, like, they had, like their lower level guys were protecting the big level guys while they like took dumps Damn. and then after they were dumb they'd be like you can go and I was like thank you so much sir and then like the girls had jackets that said like property of like tug or something like that oh on them oh my god that's yeah. the worst that's for sure the worst one in the crew <laughs> tug <laughs> tug yeah I remember I was there and uh, I was in a stall opening a bag um, and the security <laughs> <What's up? laughs> just opening a bag uh, security <laughs> kicks open the door and I'm just sitting on the stall just like what up <laughs> <laughs> and they escort me out and I pass my friend who gave it to me he's like keep it <laughs> I'm like fuck, fuck you dude I'm gonna get him. I didn't get arrested though yeah. they, they just kicked me out which is nice I was when like, I was Thank in you, dude. similar to that Mongo store when I was in Japan last I saw I saw a dude getting punked by a Yakuza member oh, and shit. it was like one of the most like demoralizing things I've ever witnessed in my life like this dude made a kid get like on his knees in a bathroom, like a dirty bathroom. And there's like a bunch of people watching. He's like, young, I'm not gonna try to speak Japanese. Yeah. It wouldn't come off not <laughs> offensive. <Yeah. laughs> but screaming at this kid, and this kid just, yes, yes, whenever he says, like, head to the floor in a bathroom, and just for fun. And the dude oh, but the kid didn't even fuck up? I mean, he must have done something. I didn't right. see what happened before. When I was taking a piss when the altercation started. Yeah. But you don't wanna, you don't wanna fuck up another country. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. Yeah, it's too. 
too dangerous. Yeah. So do you, so do you if you're part of do you still dance or do you still oh yeah rip oh, yeah. it up on the floor? Yeah, you have to because that's the only way that they'll appreciate it. Yeah, right. It's, it's a universal out. language. Yeah, yeah. You know it's I mean? like why in Mongolia we hit the club <laughs> and we were tearing it up on the we dance were. floor and people were just like. Okay. They were like, damn. They respect <laughs> it. I don't think I've ever seen someone go this hard. Yeah. <laughs> we were going for yeah, it. Yeah, we tore it up in every country we went to. Every That's city we awesome. went to. That's awesome. Yeah. If you don't dance, what else are you doing? I'm just, I'm right there with you. Yeah. Yeah. It's my favorite thing. You're not thing talking to, to somebody you want to kiss. And you can get, I think girls like it when you dance too. If they see you dancing, oh, yeah, totally. they're like, this dude's fun. Totally. Yeah. And if they, and if they don't, like, I don't want you dancing, it's not the girl for you <laughs> or boy, whoever you're into. Well said. We got Aaron. What's up, Chad and JT? What up, Stoke Nation? I love the pod. Keep up the good vibes. I'm in college and live in Trap House with six other guys. Oh, it's a lot of fun, but when it comes to raging, there's a problem. Our roommate Logan is a schmoll. A schmoll's like an undesirable in the crew. It's like someone who no one really likes, but they keep hanging out. A tug? Yeah, a tug. And it's, I guess, like an epidemic. Like, everybody writes in about schmoll? it. Schmoll? Yeah. It's just like a word. It doesn't stand for anything. Yeah, our boy Strider came up with it, and it just means, like, someone, like, who's, like, kind of sucks but wants to be like friends. A, like a goober? Your yeah. Boy Strider? Mm-hmm. And, uh... <laughs> That's a cool name. That's He's funny. legit. Yeah. <laughs> Our, our roommate Logan is a schmoll and always wants to shut the parties down just when the parties are starting to spice up. One time he shut down our toga rager at 11 p.m. right as babes were showing up. He has oh. done this many times. I'm hoping you house party advocate experts can help our sitch. Much love. Keep up the good work. Aaron, a.k.a. Jelly. I just love that all your guys' emails are just jam-packed with bro cab. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've never heard so many bro terms. I love it. In one email. Yeah, they're good. They're all good writers. You gotta, Very you nice. gotta kick it out of the house. You gotta find him a new place to live. Yeah, because they're just so ideologically opposed. It doesn't yeah, make sense for him to be work. in a house with guys who are trying to do that. Yeah, yeah, you just gotta be like, dude, look, if you don't like the same things as us, maybe we should part ways. Yeah, yeah. and if eighty-three percent of the house is into it, and you're like, the we one who's came not here into to do it, the thing that you yeah. don't want us to do. Right. Yeah. 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 You know what I mean, it's like, an easy out. I don't know if I've ever lived with a schmoll before. You're lucky. No, I only live with really very few people I'm down to live with. Right. Ninja's legit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. As of lately, he's kind of been to himself, but, you know. Mm -hmm. It's that haircut. Yeah. Oh, you got a haircut you don't like? <laughs> no, I was talking about Ninja. Um, but, yeah, if you're living with a schmoll, yeah, tell him to bounce or get with it. Yeah. Uh, this, this one's kind of an easy because, I mean, it's so obvious. Yeah. Yeah. You're like, you don't like to party. Yeah. Go get a condo. If you shut down a toga party at 11 p.m., yeah. you're getting beat up. I'm sorry. <laughs> Not by me, but like back if I was in college and somebody did that, like for sure. Yeah. Well, that would never happen. Like right. if one roommate's like, everybody out. Everyone would be like, whoa, <laughs> hold on. Get your boy. Yeah. Yeah, it's weird this guy was even able to like. Pull that off. Yeah. It's hard to stop a lone ranger though. Like he doesn't have any boys really. If he's just like, the only one who's like, everybody out. And it, everyone's like, yo, chill. And he's like, no, I don't fucking like you. Mm -hmm. Oh, everybody out of here. Like, what are you going to do? Yeah, he doesn't even care that the other guys in the house don't like him anymore. Yeah. Like, almost out of a desire to fit in, you think he'd go along with it a right. bit. Right. Shit. Yeah, I got to give him Get the him boot. Out. Yeah. Should you dive into Legends? Yeah, let's do it. So these are like a <coughs> segment we do where we call out our different uh, of the weeks. Okay. Does that follow? Yeah, so yeah. Totes. I'll start with Chad. Chad, yeah. who is your Legend of the Week? Um, so you guys might not know this. I'm a pretty jolly dude, but uh, I also have a dark side. Oh. And by that, I mean I listen to Slipknot sometimes. Oh, shit. Yeah. Um, and uh, so my legend of the week is the band member who hits a keg with a bat. That's nice. his instrument. That's, that's it. That's for real? That's for real. Yeah, yeah. If you watch any, any like, concert, he's just standing up there and he hits a keg with a bat. And is he a, is he a full time band member? Yeah. yeah. And I, I was. So in the studio, he brings a keg. Dude, yeah, he, I have a quote from him. In the studio, if he's running late, they wait for him? Uh, apparently, he has the swing. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, okay. He goes, uh, I've had a lot of maggots come up to me and say they can't figure out how to duplicate my keg tone, so let me tell you a little secret. You can't just hit any keg with any baseball bat and expect it to sound like the culture-changing event that is Slipknot. Dude, I damn. Exclusively, wow. I exclusively use... Gee mocker half kegs. For a bat, I use Easton Mako Torque. Great pop. Dude, fire legend, dude. Wow. Science. Yes. Okay. And I, dude, 
I want to know what level the beer is at in the keg too. Good call. It's gotta be yeah. precise, right? Yeah. 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 I, I watched a concert on Letterman. He, they're on Letterman, and he just stands there and he just fucking hits it. And <laughs> 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 wow. Yeah, he was out for a while. He tore his labrum. Yeah. yeah. I I appreciate you shining a light on that legend. Otherwise, I would have had no idea. Dude, yeah. That's what it's all about. Mm -hmm. It's like talk about following your passion. They're like, we're gonna start a band. He's like, all right, I'll stick with the keg. <laughs> Jimmy, who's your uh, legend of the week? I'm gonna go with a relevant legend of the week that also uh, also plugs our show. I'm gonna sh shout out the legend Nigel Houston. Ooh. Oh, nice. Who uh, actually graces the uh, fictional skate contest in episode four of Real Bros. Yeah. Which you can find your boy Chad in as well. He is. What up? And uh, you know, just gotta give him a shout out for coming through and gracing the park. With his legendariness, mm -hmm. it was pretty epic to watch. Mm -hmm. Christian, who's your legend of the week? You might guess it because I'm wearing this sweatshirt. My legend is a whole squad. Fuck oh, yeah, dude. Or you might want to say a pack of bears, <laughs> the wow. Chicago Bears, for sticking through the hard times. Took a hard L last week. Didn't have our QB. Comes back this week. And guys, this is hard because. Because I grew up here, the Rams were my second favorite team. It was my first favorite team playing my second favorite team. But you got to go for your first favorite team. And we got that dub. Yeah. Jimmy Salty, you can hear him. There's a lot of salty people out here. I'm pretty salty. I watched it with some Rams fans, too. They were salty. They didn't say much after they le before they left. Do we trust Trubisky in the playoffs? <sighs> nope. It's going to be hard, man. <laughs> I mean, he threw less picks than Jared Goff last night. I oh, know. Dude, that was, yeah. They were, like, throwing him back to back. Right. Yeah. And I love Goff, but he threw four picks. I love him too. I didn't think okay, it was guys, it was pretty good. cold. It was <laughs> very yeah. cold. It was 24 degrees. You said it, was, it said 24. Goss feels California like 18. Boy. Did you see? That? How did he even gauge that? It was like 18. I mean, give the guy a break. Yeah, he's from Cali. Well, legend. Yeah, I dig at that sweater this too. I got this for three dollars at Goodwill. That's looks good. Oh, that's a that's a find. It's a come up, right? Yeah, it looks good. Yeah. My legend of the week is uh, Roger the Kangaroo. Uh, you guys might oh, remember him. He passed him. away. Yeah, right? he passed ah. away at 12. It's been all over the news today. He was the super jacked kangaroo. He had oh. traps for days. <laughs> Looked like he was just hitting those hang cleans and going, you know, low reps, lots of sets. And I respect the fuck out of that. And I just like the way that, like, you can watch clips of other people talking about him in his neighborhood and you can feel the respect. Like, this one woman's like, he's got very developed pectorals. He's pretty intimidating. I'm like, that's right, Roger. Like, Way to patrol your neighborhood. Damn. And um, I just love the way he would, like, fill out his natural space with, like, no self-consciousness and just, like, let himself be seen yeah. in all his glory. And I don't know if there's a lot of kangaroos like you, Roger, but I'm betting not. And you were missed, man, in your kingdom and ones beyond there. That's wow. real. That's, that's real. That's beautiful. Yeah. All right, pour, pour some out for the dead, homie. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. I'll finish my drink, but... Thank you for honoring him. Thank you, dude. Chat, who is your babe of the week? My babe of the week is, uh, since it's the holidays, it's Judy the Elf from the Santa Claus movie. Do you guys remember okay. that with Tim Allen? Yeah, of course. She made the hot cocoa mm -hmm. for him. Okay. And I just want to give her a shout out for her nurturing ways. And some people might be like, oh, she's super young. And it's like, actually, dude, she's like 1,500 years old. Right. Watch the fucking movie. Eternal. Right. Yeah, so if some stoker should come at me for that. Check your facts, dog. <laughs> so thank you, Judy, for uh, giving Tim Allen some hot cocoa and being a nurturing elf. Wow. I'm going to go with uh, my baby of the week. I'm going to go with Lana from Archer. Oh, Ooh. dude. I'm not sure if you guys ever get animated. Okay. But, Hell yeah. Uh, That's my girl. She's she's the baddest. She's I the think baddest. she's the baddest on, on television. Yeah. She's you so know, bad. Animated and not. Yeah. Hell yeah. So. Yeah, she's bad. Lola Bunny's up there. but Lola's good. The, the girl from um, Goofy Movie, remember her? Yes. The main girl? What was her name? Uh, Max. Max is the dude. Oh, right. Wait, is it Maxine? Is that the girl? It actually might be. I, I don't know. know. I don't know. Anyway, Chris. my babe of the week, it's actually very similar to yours. This person is very important to me this time of the year. It's Mrs. Claus. Dude. Dude. Nice. Because without Mrs. Claus, there's no Santa. No mm -hmm. Santa. Without Santa, there's no Christmas or all the other holidays. I think he's in charge of all the holidays yeah. now. He's the president. Um, so, yeah, I think Mrs. Claus, this is an important time of year for her. She's got to take care of my guy. Mm -hmm. Massages, foot rubs, J-O, whatever he wants. Rolling his J's for him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Mrs. Claus, take care of him because if you don't take care of him, he can't take care of me. Right. You know what I mean? Right. Dude, she doesn't get enough recognition. Right. 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Okay. Yeah. And then, yeah, that is true. Like, he gets to be off, like, delivering all the presents, but who's keeping the home situation right? Exactly. Yeah. Right. It's crazy over there. I like all those elves? giving love to the unsung heroes. Right. Exactly. Um, Where's that movie? Mrs. Claus, starring Melissa McCarthy. Dude, we're talking about dream <laughs> projects. Dude, you two could direct that. That would be a fire movie. You want to do that? <laughs> Santa's down. Who's going to do Christmas? Just Rudolph with her, basically. When anyway. Santa goes down, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> who's going to step up? <laughs> Who does the voice this of Rudolph? Is Claus. Oh, huh? Who does the voice of Rudolph? Or is it oh, Rudolph's yeah, sister? Rudolph the gang. Is it Rudolph's sister, Rachel? Yeah, this is going to be a <laughs> Rachel, Rachel Reindeer? Yeah. yeah, that's right. Yeah, this is going to be all, it's going to be an all female. If you cast. like one <laughs> female strong female yeah. protagonist, <laughs> try one and 11 reindeer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they'd have like a tagline like, the North Pole just got a bit more chick friendly. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I was waiting for it. Yeah, I was hoping it would yeah. come. Um, my baby of the week is uh, Arwen, Liv Tyler's elven character from Lord of the Rings. Oh, wow. Dude, I'm glad dude. we're both keeping it with the elves, nice. dude. Nice. Um, you know, she was just super cool, like fierce in battle, but then very gentle. She's bad. Outside of the conflict. And um, what I was most impressed by was the sacrifice she made for Aragorn to like just give away eternal life and be like, no, I love this dude so much that these moments of bliss with him are worth a million more that I could have without mm -hmm. him. So mm -hmm. like, um, yeah, that's just commitment. And you know, to tell your father, Hugo Weaving, um, what's his name, Elrond, that you're bailing on so much tradition, thousands of years of tradition, that's not easy, but you have to go with your heart. And sometimes disobeying your parents is the way you show them you really are the child that they raised you to be. That's right. Elrond, dude. <laughs> yeah. I, just, I know. I just lost it at Elrond. I just, <laughs> that, that name. Who wins in a yeah. fight, her or Hermione? Oh, dude. Dude, it's got, got her. Tyler in that. Hermione yeah. Yeah, basically got, went through time in the third one. Spells. Yeah. Oh, that's, yeah. If Hermione has time to, like, you know, use her book smarts she to does. help She's her got out, time. oh, then I go Hermione. All right. Chad, who is your beef of the week? My beef of the week is with our dog Strider. <laughs> the um, legend <laughs> is Strider. Strider, I got, I love Strider. I gotta say, but you know, it, over the past three weeks, I've gotten in on that sweet action. I've been betting on the games, uh, and I've lost every time, um, because of Strider's picks. Strider, dude. And then last night, I went against his wish. Uh, he was like, "I'm gonna go with the Bears," so I'm like, "I'm gonna go the opposite." And go with the Rams, and the sweet action got the better of Daddy once That's again. Right. So, Damn. That's um, tough, man. Strider, I just, uh, I think you need to like realign yourself with the sweet action. <laughs> well, dude, once you start losing when you're gambling, you start questioning all your decisions, and yeah. it just it's bothering. Oh, it, it was a for real bet. Yeah. Well, you know oh, what yeah. they say uh, about gambling. Top twenty bucks, dude. Uh, what do they say? Oh, it's just between you two. About no, gambling? <laughs> oh, you put it on you. online. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. You know what they say about gambling? What's that? When you're losing. Yeah. Keep, keep playing. Keep yeah, you're hot. Right. Keep right. going. Yeah. Until you start winning. Right. That's what everyone says. Is that real advice? Yeah. I heard it. I've. I for sure heard, heard it. Yeah. I've, I've heard that's, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's been yeah, my yeah. strategy. I've been and drop out of brown. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Drop out of brown. Hit Vegas. <laughs> put it all on black. Yeah. Save that student tuition. I've been visualizing that win. Someday the sweet action is gonna be good yeah. to daddy. Just keep on I going. Just, I like talking like a gambler more than anything. Okay. <laughs> I thought I can hang with the gambler talk. Yeah. He's like the daddy and sweet action and <laughs> yeah, just all the daddies and the, the over unders and the spreads. Oh, yeah. yeah, I don't know my what roommate, that means. My roommate actually was so good at gambling that he put his bookie out of his bookie stopped booking. Really? Yeah. He was like, Damn. I'm done. I can't do it anymore. That's awesome. Yeah. So my, he won. He beat he won. So my brother's weed dealer I, thought my brother was selling weed. <laughs> He was buying so much. He was buying so much. <laughs> yeah, he like That's asked a mutual to friend. Like, yeah. yeah, are you selling it? Yeah. Who's your beef? My beef is with um, those Balenciaga shoes. The bulky ones. The big, chunky. Those bulky are hard. Balenciaga shoes. You don't shoes. like you actually. You wouldn't like those. They're they're disgusting, and they're uh, about eight hundred dollars. Damn. And you know what? They piss me off. They for real? Yeah. I love it. They're dope. <laughs> They're not dope. Have you guys seen these? Nah. The Yeezys kind of look like them now. There's listen. I'm all for if you if you know wear what you think is dope. 
No one actually thinks these shoes are dope. I don't care what Christian says. He doesn't actually like them. Are they rubbing them just because they're music late? So he's been told that he likes them. I love you. Right. Mm. I'm not buying them. Better responsible. But I think they're cool from afar. (sighs) They're gonna be on the ash heap of time. Like everyone's gonna. I'm gonna get a GoFundMe. We're gonna get you a pair of those fucking shoes. Ugh! I would burn them. Oh my god! (laughs) I would burn them on Melrose just to piss off all the hype beasts. The hype beasts. (laughs) Yeah. That's a good video. <laughs> Pissing off burning Supreme stuff on Melrose. Yeah. Oh, hopping over like, the bird. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> my beef of the week is with my family. Oh, Whoa. oh dude. Okay. Heavy. What's going on? It's fucking Christmas time right now. Oh, no. Last year, I don't know if I ever told you this, last year at Christmas, my fucking family did Christmas without me because I woke up late. They were oh, like, man. come out, stay at our place. I'm like, nah, I hadn't wrapped gifts. I was late with the gifts, right? Like, I got all my gifts, like, the night before Christmas. And I hadn't wrapped them or anything. And I just hadn't packed. I just wanted to be home and drive out in the morning. So I come stay with us. I'm like, nah, nah, I'm going to stay here. And I'll meet you guys in the morning. All right, be here around, like, 8, 830. I'm like, that's probably when I'll wake up, but I'll let you guys know. Wrap all the gifts. Go to bed, like, 3 in the morning. Wake up at, like, 8, 30, like I said. And my brother, I woke up to a text from my brother, like, hey, what time are you coming over? I'm like, hey, I just woke up. Uh... I'll be, I'm going to get dressed and be over there. So I get dressed, do my thing. It's Christmas. I'm happy, right? I get a call from my brother after I got the shower. He's like, yo, where are you? I'm like, I'm about to head out. He's like, yo, man, um, we, we just, like, did it. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, man. He's like, I mean, like, we did Christmas. Like, we all got up, and we made breakfast, and we ate breakfast and coffee, and we all exchanged gifts. And What time did you get there? Dude, I got there like 9.30. It wasn't that, even late. That's so reasonable. I was heated. I'm like, what do you mean, bro? He's like, bro, I told dad to stop. He wanted to keep going. I think my yeah. dad had gotten my mom a gift he was like super excited about. So he rushed the whole thing greedily. Oh, man. I was so mad. So that's... this year, I was so I was so mad and it was validated because when I went to my parents' house, they knew I was mad and they were being so nice to me. My mom was like, here's your favorite food. Mm, you're like, uh-huh. uh-huh. But I was like, here's the... Yeah, I was heated. I that probably made that you more That would have killed like my they life. They know they're wrong. The whole, yeah, like yeah. the whole... Like 26 years, we do this one thing, and now you switch it up. So I'm this mad year, for you. Yeah. I, thank you. I feel like it's a legitimate concern. Because I'm, I'm putting myself in your shoes. Thank you. I'm, I'm happy. Mm-hmm. I wake up. Mm-hmm. It's Christmas. Mm-hmm. I tell them, hey, I'm on my way. They say, sounds good. Yep. I, you get there. You already did it. Yeah. Fucking to the chest, to the chest. Yeah. ice pick to the chest. Yeah, I was fucking heated. So this year, I'm I'm like I'm thinking like I wish they would do it again. I'll burn this yeah. shit down. I'm like kind of <laughs> hoping they do that. Yeah. So I just just so I can get mad, you yeah. know? I mean? Feel that righteous anger. Yeah. he's yeah. coming over with a vengeance. Yeah, yeah. You, you rely on your parents to be the patient ones, too. right? It's they're like just they're supposed the to hold you back, exactly, from opening the present. So mom, dad, it's fucking beef. Damn, season two. That's way deeper than Balenciaga shoes. That's right. I like that you looked at the camera for that, too. Yeah, just in case you find this, and then you'll hear also that I brought drugs into Mongolia, so <laughs> you, I'll make sure you never find this. <laughs> uh, my beef of the week is, um, I've been thinking about this for a while. It's with death. I'm just like, <laughs> yeah, everyone just accepts it, like that we're supposed to die, you know? Uh-huh. But to me, it's a disease, and like it should be cured. And I don't, I think we all just kind of accept it too casually, like, Fuck dying. Like, right. everyone's like, no, it'll be better. It's like, we don't know that. And I'm actually betting it's not. Well, if you drink a few of these a day, you should be. I mean, I'm trying to postpone it, but I'm like, I'm like, we should all just freeze ourselves at the end and then just be optimistic that they'll find a way to bring us back and that we'll yeah. be able to have that eternal life here yeah. now with each other. Or we know? find the sorcerer's stone. I yeah. did. I saw a video you guys posted like a couple days ago and you were talking about something similar about freezing your head. Yeah. So this obviously is something that's troubling you. I'm thinking about it a lot, yeah. And uh, I think you got to not think about it. Yeah, same. Well, so a YouTuber I like who breaks down movies talked about the Fountain, the Aronofsky movie, and he was saying like, real peace is like when you accept these things and you just travel through life not trying to control it because you can't. It's out of our control. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I'm like, is that really the mentality that we should have? Yes. You think so? Yeah. You think the enlightened route is just to accept the ephemeral nature of our lives? I think you got to just do the best with what you have here. Yeah. Man, it's challenging. You, have you accepted like the potential of your life and not like where it's at right now? Like how like much how great life could be? I think I have, yeah. But I then that makes me think even more scared cuz I'm like it's like time is of the essence, you know what I mean? Yeah. And I'd you love wanna, you don't want to stay at a party too long, man. I'd love a thousand more years to learn everything else there is to learn though. 
No, I mean, you like, there's a bunch of books and like, there's all these stories. Everyone who's immortal like hates it. But that's because we're in a pre death being solved situation. So all the ideology has to be about that. But if we fixed it, wouldn't the people afterwards be like, I can't believe they just accepted it. That's assuming like uh, your 80 year old self might be looking at your current self and saying, oh man. If you only knew. If you only knew how I feel right now. (laughs) Only if you're, would you, okay, how about this? (laughs) Would you be happy if like, the doctor was like, yo, I have the cure, but like, it's only, I only have one cure. It's yours if you want it. That's a tough one. Yeah, because then I'd have to go through it without my dogs. <laughs> right. Yeah. He just right away. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was way too yo, quick. Yeah, fuck him, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Would you yeah, take yeah. it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll get new homies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, you can break it in half. I swallowed the whole thing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I could, we could have split. Oh, half. my bad, dude. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Forever, forever. Yeah, yeah that's my beef. But what, if, what if, like, reincarnation's kind of like. You just come, you die and then you're like, oh, dragon coming pie. back, baby. Yeah. No, nah, I know, but I just I've seen people's like brains get altered through life. You know what I mean? And it's like, so when a part of their brain gets shut down, like they're irrevocably changed. But for some reason, we think when the whole thing shuts down, we'll be reborn Same. in this full state. Yeah. You know? And I'm just like, it doesn't quite check out for me. But you know, much love to all those who are departed. I do hope I get to see you again. Yeah. Damn, real shit. But if not. I'll be chilling here and living well for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> Did the death of the kangaroo make you realize this? Dude, it was Roger, dude. <laughs> I, was like, I, was like, I was like, a kangaroo that jacked can't live more than 12 years? Fuck this shit, dude. <laughs> Come on. A frozen JT. Yeah, m- me frozen right next to Roger the kangaroo. <laughs> <laughs> it's just us two for I the last rest of hope. time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It um, sounds good. All right. Uh, now we just do our quote of the week real quick. I don't know if you guys have any ready. But oh, shit. Did you get a quote? I don't have a quote at the moment. I can probably think of one. Chad, you want to bust it real quick? Yeah, then I'll do mine, and we'll give you guys some time. Yeah, no pressure. My, my quote is from Polly from Sopranos. Can I get just... Oh, hold on. Can I get... Can I just get some macaroni and gravy? Okay. Okay. When what does that in, mean to you? When he's in Italy, and they're all having Italian cuisine, and he's he's like, I'm Italian, but nah. I'm not down with this cuisine. I think it's like staying true to yourself. Damn, sure. Sure. It's like you're in Italy. They're like, get the pasta. And he's like, I'll have macaroni and gravy. Did they have it? I haven't seen Sopranos. Uh, did he have it? I don't remember. I think he had it's it. like, uh, we don't have that, sir. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ah, Give me okay. the pasta. I'll go back with Italian. Yeah. I wish <laughs> I could do it in his voice. I'll get the macaroni and gravy. Macaroni I'll, and cheese. Yeah, yeah, I can yeah, do yeah. it. Yeah. But I think that's, yeah. That's my quote. Okay. okay. My, my quote of the week, and I hope I haven't done this one before, but when I asked Chad about it, he's like, dude, it's so good. It's all right if you do it twice. Is from uh, the movie Armageddon. And it's uh, near the end of the film after Harry Stamper saved the world. Um, and then Colonel Sharp, who was kind of an antagonist towards Harry the whole movie, like didn't quite believe in him the way he should have. But you know, it's tough. Um, he walks up to his daughter, Liv Tyler again, and he says, um, excuse me, ma'am, permission to shake hands with the daughter of the bravest man I've ever met. And then the camera cuts to her and you just see her like so proud of where she comes from. And I'm just like, dude, nothing gets me more Jack than that. Like, I hope one day, even though I'm never going to die, if I ever did, <laughs> someone would come up to my daughter and drop that bomb on her. You know? Wow. It's Damn. Beautiful. That's my quote. I'm trying to think of a quote. It can be a song. Okay. It can be a song lyric. Yeah. I got one. Fire Please, dude. Thank already. you. I've probably said this quote before. And people have probably also said this quote, mm-hmm. but this is pretty much the only thing I remember from high school. Mm-hmm. We're in art class, and uh, we were looking at one of these paintings. Mr. Lee was showing us, and it was just some like some shit anyone could have done, you know, like all these splatters. So my friend Ryan was like, "Mr. Lee, how is that artwork? Like I could have done that." And he looked at him and he said, "You could have, but you didn't." Mm. Where's that kid now? He didn't make it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. He's frozen. Yeah. No, no, no. He's. Uh, I'm not sure. I haven't checked in with him in a while, but but that quote really uh, really resonated with me. Okay. It's true. It's the doer. It's the man in the arena. You know. You know just, what I mean. You got the idea. Do it. Yeah. Right. Go do it. I'm trying to think what songs I've listened to. I listened to "Take Care" again. Dude, last week, and I was like, God, my all time favorite. So good, Dude. still so good. The so whole album, or just the, the song? The whole care. album from the jump. So I'm trying to think what bars. Because Marvin's there. room is on that too. Marvin's room, cameras, everything is just over my dead body. The covers, cool. Crew love, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a beautiful album. Do you I have a quote from? Uh, 
what's my song on there? Um, no, I'm trying. Oh, I like I like the try the uh, the Barbie says. I told my story and made his story. Mm. Back to just being true to yourself. If you just talk about shit or just do shit that's important to you, like you will speak for others just by example. Right. I thought yeah. you were gonna say everything I got is not a rental. I own that motherfucker. Uh huh. I but own a motherfucker. What's what I said? I think um, that's the tro- move. Is that trophies? Some, what's it? Yeah, trophies. Yeah. That's like two albums later. Still a nice sentiment. It though. is a nice sentiment. All right, dudes. Guys. Dudes. Thank you guys so much for coming. It was in. such an honor to have you guys. Like, yeah. we really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Really. Thank you for having yeah. us, bro. This has been pretty stoked. Yeah. Dude, thank you guys. Crosswave. Yeah. Dude, Crosswave thank you for bros. coming. Thank you. Guys, check out Real Bros of Simi Valley on yes. Facebook Watch. Episode four features your dog, Chad. Thank you guys so much for having me. I on, love the on Sean the Livingston too. reference in the first ep, too. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, dude, you have Shooter McGavin, too. How is that? Dude, Shooter the McGavin. fucking the best. Oh, man. Is he a beast? Dude, he's amazing. He's so talented, too. Yeah, he was great. He was he was great to have. Like, yeah, he was came, cool. came through, killed it. He was super chill. The homie. Yeah. He looks good. Brought a, yes. brought a great thing to the show. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like that, that character, we were like, not sure who could we were trying for a long be like time that, to find that, that guy that legend yeah. he was supposed to be just like a legend you know yeah and like shooter mcgavin dude dude yeah checked Perfect. all the boxes yeah. yeah yeah he's so great he's cool as fuck who Shout do you guys got shooter. winning Shout the out strider super bowl who you guys got winning the nba championship real quick nba right. championship boston celtics whoa mm. bomb drop i don't know dude it's tough i mean nfl i, I don't fucking know dude i really Rams. do not know I don't know. If the Rams where are they playing? Go, if the there? Rams get first. Where's the Super Bowl this year? Atlanta, I think. It's cold there in January. Rams are good with the cold. Are you? <laughs> <sighs> I don't know. Have you met Goff? Yeah, I'm buddies with Goff. Are you really? Yeah. Dude. He's a good guy. Is he legit dude? He's a big he's a big fan of Real Bros as well. That's awesome. Cool. Yeah. There you go. Is he a bro? He's a bro. Nice. He's he's the man. I mean he's killing it. He's killing it. Yeah, for sure. You know who else is a fan of Real Bros? Christian McCaffrey. Mm. Dude. Yeah, he's fucking. He's tried to get him traded on my squad. Beast. Yeah. I wish I had drafted his ass. I tried to get him. My homie wouldn't trade him to me. Who's laughing now, Logan? You got eliminated tonight, son. I'm still in it. Shout out, Logan. He's eliminated. Wow. Yeah. You got to talk shit. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. To the fantasy dudes. Bottom four. Here we go. <laughs> All right. Well, guys, thank you. All yeah. right, bros. Yeah. Thanks Tremendous. Thanks, yeah. Guys, I'll be it for episode. 49? Damn. 40 yeah. something. Anniversary coming up. 50. Yeah. Oh, dude. Maybe this is 50. I don't know. Let me you should make it 50. <laughs> yeah, this is 50. Woo. Is All it? right, boys. Guys, thank you thank so you much. Guys. That was awesome. Dude, that was yeah, dope. That was good times. Good, good yeah. times.